Hello, Born Review Nation! Yes, Gabe here. <laughs> Nick here. And today we are going to react to a uh, video, Tata's Business Empire, 100 Countries. Um, yeah, so we've been getting a lot of requests and kind of advice, if you think about it, right. to try to expand um, our channel and to look at other things like travel and whatnot. Than just uh, just movies from India and from Europe or whatever. So, was looking up some videos, looking up. Okay, what what can I learn about? And I came across this Tata Business Empire, this big conglomerate that started in 1868. Right. And holy cow, it was so interesting that sure enough, here's a video right here. People have already reacted to it. Those reactions have gotten a good amount of views. So. That's all I need to be able to do a video <laughs> on it. <laughs> Dude, some huge names on there, man. I mean, yeah. if this thing was on uh, the Fortune 500, it would be one of the top traded companies here yeah, in America. It's gotta be. You know, it has Ritz-Carlton and whatnot. They've got right. all these companies they've been buying. Like I said, established in 1868. This video will tell us a whole lot more about it. 100 countries, which means they probably have companies in 100 different countries. But, I mean, this is just a massive, massive conglomerate, conglomerate empire. And... This is us trying to spread our wings and trying to expand our channel. Channel. Um, we are born reviews. We usually do uh, movie reviews, trailer reactions. But we also do reactions to other videos, mostly Indian content, as far as those reactions to other things that aren't movies are concerned. And so here we are with the Tata's Business Empire. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Boy reviews. Bueller. Bueller, Bueller. A filthy cut for a second. <laughs> Bombay House. This is a simple looking head office of the Tata Group in Mumbai, India. But Tata Group is anything but simple. Started as a small trading company by Jamshedji Tata in 1868. Tata Group now has more employees than Toyota, Coke, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google combined. It now operates in over 100 countries. So let's tighten our seatbelts and take a world tour to witness the remarkable business empire of Tata Group. Our first stop is North America. Here Tata Group owns the luxury hotel Taj Campton Palace in San Francisco, Taj Boston, and one of the world's finest and New York's iconic hotel, The Pair. Tata's Tetley Tea is the second largest tea company in US and largest in Canada. They also own popular brands like Good Earth and America's third largest coffee company, 8 O'Clock Coffee. Tata's IT service company, TCS, operates 24 offices in North America. And while their animation and design lab, Tata Elixir, also operates in 8 plus locations in the region. In manufacturing sector, the group operates a soda ash mining company in Wyoming, iron ore mining company in Quebec, Canada, steel manufacturing facilities in Ohio and Pennsylvania, and also a coffee production plant. In all, Tata Group employs over 20,000 people in North America about three times more than how many people Microsoft employs in India. Now let's travel to South America. PCS employs more than 8,000 people in eight countries in South America. The group is also an investor in the first submarine fiber cable network between US and Brazil. Tata is also own world's largest subsea fiber cable network. Today, 25% of world's internet routes travel over Tata's subsea networks. Wow. From that's South it, America, comes from. <laughs> let's travel to Africa and land in the port city of South Africa, Cape Town. Here, Tata Group owns the historic luxury hotel Taj Cape Town. In nearby Zambia, they own Taj Pamodzi, one of the most luxurious hotels of the country. Tata's also operate two wind farms in South Africa and a hydroelectric power project in Zambia. The group also owns Jokels, South Africa's third largest tea company. Tata Trucks and Buses are one of the top sellers in Zambia, South Africa and Kenya. In manufacturing sector, 
Tata owns a chemical plant in Magadi, Kenya, which is Africa's largest soda ash manufacturer, commercial vehicle assembly plant, and a steel plant in South Africa, and finally a manufacturing and a power plant in Mozambique. From Mozambique, we will move to London, Buckingham Palace, Queen's official residence. Close to the palace, Tata's own the luxurious Taj 51 Buckingham Gate Suites. The hotel also has the world's first Jaguar suite for all the Jaguar lovers. <laughs> Nearby, the St. James Court Hotel is also owned by the group. Tata's Tetley is the largest tea company in the UK. Their other European tea brands include Vitex, a popular brand in Poland, Jemka, the market leader in Czech Republic, and Grand, a coffee brand in Russia. Tata Steel is one of Europe's largest steel maker and TCS has been awarded as the best employer in Europe. Jaguar Lion Rover is also owned by Tata's and is the largest manufacturer of premium vehicles in Britain. The group also operates design centers in London and Paris and one of the world's largest e-learning company in UK, Germany and Switzerland. Tata employs around 60,000 people in Europe and is also UK's biggest industrial employer. To end it all, Tata's also own a relatively small company called British Salt in the UK. An Indian company owns British Salt. Quite ironic if one remembers Gandhi's Salt March carried out against the British Raj only 88 years ago. Now let's travel all the way to Sydney, Australia. Here in Sydney, TCS began its first operations in Australia and now the company operates across Australia and New Zealand with over 10,000 employees and clients like Qantas, Telstra and Commonwealth Bank. Tata's also own popular Australian coffee machine brand MAP and operate data centers across Australia through their partnership with Next DC. The group also holds stake in Carborough Downs Coal Project in Queensland, Australia. Finally, we have reached Asia. Let's start in the desert sands of the Middle East. Tata's Range Rover is one of the most sought-after four-wheel drives in the region. Tata Motors is also a leader in the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment in GCC countries, while TCS has multiple offices in the Middle East, including an all-women IT services center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The group also owns Titan, Titan Watches, our leading brand in Oman and Bahrain. They also own logistics company in UAE and the luxurious city hotel Taj Dubai near popular landmarks like Palm Jumeirah. Finally, Voltas, Tata's leading air conditioning brand, has completed major mechanical and air conditioning projects that include Burj Khalifa, Dubai, international airports in UAE and Bahrain, Ferrari Experience, and F1 race track in Abu Dhabi, Southeast Asia. From deserts of UAE, we will move to South Korea. Here, Tata owns South Korea's second largest heavy commercial vehicle manufacturer, Tata Daewoo. In Singapore, Tata's steel plant is the largest single cut and bend steel operations worldwide, while the group is also the largest producer of long steel products in Thailand. Tata's also own stake in oil and gas blocks and coal reserves in Indonesia and are developing power generation projects in Myanmar and Vietnam and even operate a life sciences research company and own plantations in Singapore and Indonesia. Even Tata's Voltas has executed engineering projects like New Hong Kong International Airport and Cyberport Business Park in Hong Kong, China. Here TCS has six global delivery centers Tata's own two rolling mills, a refractories factory, an auto parts factory, green tea manufacturing plant, and also have a Jaguar Land Rover assembly plant. We have reached South Asia, the beautiful and scenic Maldives. Here we will find the lush Taj Coral Reef 
with white sands and scenic view awesome. moving ahead to sri lanka taj owns the picturesque taj bentota and two more hotels in colombo tatas also provide telecommunication services in nepal and sri lanka and have even deployed a hydro project in bhutan after our long world tour we have finally reached india here TCS is the largest Indian company. TCS becomes the first Indian company to hit a hundred billion dollars in market cap. Tata Motors is a leader in commercial vehicles segment. Titan Company is India's largest manufacturer of branded watches. Tata has also run largest jewelry store chain Tanishk. While their Tata Power is India's largest integrated power company, Tata has also own steel plants, tea plantations. automobile manufacturing units chemical factories and even own mobile networks and dth company tata sky not only that they operate airline vistara and also manufacture defense helicopters and equipments even starbucks in india is jointly owned by the tatas tata has not only created a massive business empire but also multiple social institutions like cancer treatment centers mathematics and science research institutes and also the first planned industrial city of india jamshedpur 66% of the group shares are held by a charity trust across the world the company has been involved in multiple social programs tata is truly an incredible company and has traveled a long way from mumbai to be now present all across the world all i can say is this is Tata's business empire. <laughs> Showing the globe there. All right, so you said we have twenty thousand employees here in North America, but I think it's safe to say if you're in India watching this, and for some reason you've not heard of Tata, you probably work for that TCS company <laughs> in one shape um, or fashion. Um, what shape or form is what I'm trying to say? Wow, I mean that's crazy. You, you gotta give props to a company that's able to expand. To that degree, it's been you know 160 years or so, but you've got to give props. Um, you know, here in the states, we have a big um, grocery company, Walmart. You know, they got employees all over the place. They make billions of dollars, and unfortunately, as amazing as that as as that is, and all of those facilities look you know very clean, very top notch. Those hotels looked amazing. Right. A place like Walmart. I'm not comparing the two, but I'm just saying they're both big companies. Walmart has its share of issues and right. its share of uh, negative headlines, and I wonder um, how Tata is able to, you know, run their business and and stay out of the headlines because I've never heard any neg- negative thing about it. Obviously, <laughs> in my short time. Well, when they've got well, wait, what was it um, with sixty six percent of the uh, charity trust? The charity trust. I mean, when you That's do things awesome. like that. Obviously, is going to help you from avoiding some of those negative headlines. But I think the one thing I saw with their with that was diversity. Okay, they had so many different revenue streams. Where honestly, it doesn't matter where the market goes or what's going on. Because all right, we're in energy, we're in health, we're in production, we're in tea. We they've got hotels all over the place, so we're in hospitality. And I think that that's when you really become a powerhouse when you're diverse, so that. You know, if one thing is down, then something else will pick up. You mentioned, you know, Daewoo did come here a few years ago, and I recognize that. Now, when I say a few years, it's got to be what fifteen years ago, twenty years ago. Twenty years ago, and they tried. It didn't make it, but oh, they don't care. Guess what they have here? Land Rover. Now, Land Rover did make it here. See, and and that's incredible. And I thought Ford companies. bought Jaguar a few years ago. I, remember, I thought I remember hearing something like that. If it owns Ford, they would have mentioned it in this video, but I wonder how that works. Maybe Ford owns Jaguar here in the States right. and Tata's owns it everywhere else. Right, 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 right. I'm Possibly. curious how that works out, but you're right. Land Rover, that is an extremely respected car company, luxury company here in the U.S. Jaguar is as well, but I wouldn't say it's up there with like the Mercedes and the Audi up there, but it's kind of that next echelon. Right. Definitely better than Lexus and whatnot. But I mean, all these companies are talking about. It looks like a high class all the way. Right, and I mean, the one thing you really saw there is not just the how diverse, but how spread out they are. They're literally everywhere. 
I said it was North America. Uh, did they mention South, the South America? So North America, South America, Asia, obviously Africa. huge. Africa, India. So being in all those different Australia, places, so Australia. Australia things up. Well, it, not it's in Mumbai, but yeah, you know, it's, it's it's really intelligent to do that because again, you know, regimes, you know, rise and fall, and you know, countries go through their um, ups and downs financially, but. Everywhere it can't, you know what I mean? It can't happen everywhere at one place. Like, I'm sure when uh, uh, we had our housing crisis in 2008, that, and, and it showed, it didn't just affect here in the United States. It hit the markets in Europe, you know, England, which was really tied in here. But if you're invested just in one area, it can hurt you, but not where you're everywhere. You know, I'm sure you'll take a hit, but eh, we'll survive. We'll be okay, which is why they've been around since 1868, I think it said. Yeah. So. I, I couldn't. I can't imagine being the president of that company. I mean, you've got so many different things. Obviously, you got to um, they, delegate, sh- dude. Yeah, I was gonna say they couldn't be just one president. There's got to be but multiple. You gotta have one charge. person in charge of something at least. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I was gonna say thanks for the request, but this was something that you know we did a little um, research on our own, trying to, like I said, expand, trying to grow a little bit here. If you're new to the channel, we're Born Reviews. Check out some other videos we have. It's not just movie stuff, but 90% is movie related. And who doesn't love a good movie? Check out some of that content. If you like what you see, go ahead and like. Hit that like button and subscribe. And, you know, we have a Patreon page. If you want to check out some other content and you're loving some Born Reviews, then go ahead and check that out as well. As always, we love the support and the kind words. And until next time. Adios.